Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. How to build a progressive web app Web applications have come a mighty long way since the primitive stages of the Internet. In the 90s, web applications were extremely basic and took countless hours and money to build. Amateur developers had to be geniuses in creating old-age web applications. At the turn of the 21st century, online forums and hyper-available tools and resources on the Internet helped close the learning gap for both new and experienced software developers. Now, there appears to be another paradigm shift in the business. Progressive web apps are growing in popularity and use with each passing year. In no time, billions of progressive web apps will exist and force even the most experienced web developers to adapt accordingly. If you've heard of progressive web apps but don't know what they are, why they're important, and how to build one, then you've come to the right place. This ultimate guide will show you how to build a progressive web app from scratch. Let's get started. What is a progressive web app? The history of progressive web apps is quite diverse and has been around for years now. Progressive web apps were first introduced by Google back in 2015. Since then, they have attracted a lot of attention because they're very easy to develop and provide numerous benefits to both developers and publishers. The definition of a progressive web app can be confusing if you're looking for exact terminology. To put it simply, a progressive web app utilizes the most cutting-edge and advanced technologies to combine the both the experience of a website and mobile app. You can simply think of a progressive web app as a creative hybrid of a fully functional website and dynamic mobile app. At first, mobile apps couldn't operate on a web browser for obvious reasons. Recent developments in cache service workers and push APIs, as well as browser advancements have made it possible for web developers to allow their users to install apps on their home screen, work offline, and receive push notifications. As its name suggests, progressive web apps are forward and trend-oriented. They utilize much of a larger online ecosystem, internet community and plugins, and the simplicity of publishing a website compared to apps in a marketplace. If you're a versatile developer, with experience in developing apps and websites, you'll benefit from building a progressive web app within no time. You'll also appreciate the fact that the API of your app does not need to be configured with backwards compatibility. This means that all website users can operate the same version of your website, unlike other native applications. Lastly, your app will be much easier to deploy when the time is right and maintain, saving you a lot of time, money, and stress. Why switch to progressive web apps? A recent study has shown that an application loses approximately 20% of its users during every transition from a user's first arrival to them finally becoming familiar with the app. This is a very concerning fact for both developers and publishers. In short, a person must find your app in the App Store. For both Android and iOS, this step can take a lot of time especially if your app is in a popular niche and has a common name. Next, they'll need to download your app, install it properly, and learn how to use it. On the contrary, when a person uses a progressive web app, they can immediately access it and begin using it. There isn't any installation or downloading required. What's more is when the user returns to the progressive web app, they can then install the app and take advantage of a full-screen viewing experience. This isn't to say that a native app is all that bad. Mobile applications that utilize push notifications retain three times more users than their competitors. It's also true that a person is more willing to reopen a mobile app than a website. You can click on a mobile app to open it, rather than typing in a website address. Furthermore, a fully functional mobile application is much faster because it consumes far less data. A progressive web app is the best of both worlds as far as both mobile apps and websites. This will result in enhanced performance and user retention, sans the challenge in maintaining a mobile app. When should you build a progressive web app? 
you typically will build a native mobile application when you expect your audience to continually return. However, a progressive web app can still serve the same purpose. The e-commerce giant, Flipkart, utilizes a progressive web app for its marketplace platform, Flipkart Lite. To determine whether or not you need a progressive web app, a native mobile app or a website, you'll need to first decide who your target audience is and what they intend to do on your platform. A progressive web app is designed to be compatible for all browsers. Users can enjoy an improved experience when their browser is updated with new APIs and features. As a result, there is no sacrificing the standard user experience when building a progressive web app compared to a website. Though, you will have to determine if you want your application to support offline functionality and how you'll facilitate seamless navigation. Remember in a platform standalone mode, users won't be able to use a back button. The good news is that if your website already operates like a mobile app, transforming it more to a progressive web app will improve its user experience dramatically. Now, there is a notable exception. If certain essential features on your platform are restricted due to issues in cross-browser support, then you're better off building a native mobile application that will provide the same user experience for all. What are the characteristics of a progressive web app? Before you learn how to develop a progressive web app, it's best for you to understand their following characteristics. Progressive A progressive web app must operate on any device and browser, improving its user experience. It must also leverage all of its available features. Accessible A progressive web app is, by definition, a website. Therefore, it must be discovered on all search engines. This provides a major advantage over native mobile applications, which don't have as much online visibility as websites. Linkable progressive web apps also have a URL that will help it retain its current state when others want to share it or bookmark it in their browser. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.